played extremely well. So it's kind of, kind of representative of our whole team here. We lost a really good uh, group of seniors that not only played a lot of snaps, but also did a lot of good things on the field and leadership-wise. But um, you know, I think the receiver core is coming. We, we still have work to do for sure. What's the biggest thing from this time last year to now? The biggest thing you've noticed is just you know, it's, it's a different group. What you seen from how you guys finished last year? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's, um, you, you know, we felt a year ago that we had a chance to have a good football team, but we all of a we had a lot of a lot of things to work on, a lot of uh, room for improvement, and that's really kind of where we're at right now. And, uh, yeah, there have been some years where that wasn't the case, but usually we feel like we have a chance to have a good team, and that's a matter of how the team comes together and how we can build things. And, uh, uh, you know, right now, spring is never, it's never a pretty time of year when you watch the team. Just overall, there's always some stuff that uh, has to be addressed, but the guys are working hard, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can, we can continue to improve. With today's uh, NCAA taking away the satellite camps, this is still in, right? I mean, this is something you want to continue on. I think it's still legal. Yeah, I think this is still legal. Yeah, well, I think, yeah. yeah, it's just camps not uh, moving spring ball. But, yeah, they may, may make the stand state one of these days. I don't know. That might be on the on docket one of these uh, near meetings. But, yeah, we, you know, this is something we want to do. It's, it's just a chance for us to uh, come to Central Iowa, not only to say thank you to the people in this area, the immediate area, but also Western Iowa. I know there's some people who drove over from uh, Western Iowa tonight. So, you know, they they, uh, they come to Kinnick uh, very faithfully seven times a year, and they've done that for a long, long time. And, and it's a good change of pace for our players, too. And then, you know, we added uh, the opportunity this time to interface with some young fans, which to me kind of ties in. You know, it's amazing when I travel around the state and it's been this way for uh, the last 17 years. The yeah, iClub circuit, I can't tell you how many people I've met that tell me they started coming to games when they were little kids with either a mom, dad, or a grandparent, that type of thing. So there's a real family aspect, I guess, to uh, Iowa football. And uh, this is just one way for us maybe to say thank you that way and try to you know, follow up on that thing. The other, the other thing they did is they uh, now you can have unlimited texting and social media. And I know maybe that's not your forte, yeah. but, but <laughs> is that any concerns with that, that now you can just bombard a kid with emails or social media? Yeah, you, you know, it's funny. I asked uh, I was asking some of the co coaches that in the locker room before he came yeah. out. And, you know, pretty much all that stuff's been legal except for the texting. So, you know, with tweeting right now, it's uh, basically the same thing. So I don't know how much it's going to change the world. The basketball guys have already been doing that for several years now. So, you know, it's just kind of gotten to the point where there's uh, that ability to have contact with prospects uh, pretty much nonstop. So it's, it's pretty much, I think, up to the prospect to try to control it now. Josh Jackson uh, was out there in the first unit. I know Matt Maven out. Uh, wearing a red jersey, so he's been kind of dinged up and coming into camp. Yeah. How, do you, how do you feel about his performance? He's done some good things. Josh, Josh has done some good things. He uh, has not been able to work. We have pads on. You know, he can't do any of the contact stuff. But uh, like tonight, he's able to get in there. It's good. It keeps him active. Uh, he's a young guy that we think has promise. And, this gives him a chance to really grow and, uh, you know, make some progress. So uh, it's not quite the same as, you know, seeing him full scale, but um, it, it's been good for him. I think he's made growth. That's one positive thing I've seen. A lot of the younger guys that haven't played yet, we're seeing growth uh, uh, with all that group. So we're going to need it. We're going to need it because of the seniors. Right? Has expectations changed so much for one position as the offensive line? Last year, you looked back to the spring game. Whether you wonder if you could block anybody now, it's pretty close. Yeah, even in August, uh, you know, I was wondering too. You know, we had a little bit of an issue there in that open practice, but um, you know, we feel better. We have more experience now, certainly in the offensive line. But the thing that's interesting, we've got a lot of new players, if you will, up there with Boone Meyer playing guard, Sean Welsh slid into the uh, center position, Keegan Render playing the right guard spot. So, you know, it's still uh, that's been a work in progress too. And uh, two weeks ago, it didn't look very good at all, quite frankly. So. They're making progress, and I think we'll have a chance to, to be decent up there once we, uh, once we get started. I imagine there's no one to lose a lot from. Um, yeah, the only thing I, I'm happy to say this, uh, I think we're, we're probably one conversation away from at least uh, wrapping this thing up. I don't know when that conversation is going to take place. That's a good news, bad news part of the whole thing. But, but at least we're getting closer, and, and we need to because Drew's got uh, – yeah, he's got a life. He's got a life here too, and uh, this is a big month for him if he uh, the ruling doesn't go his way. So hopefully we'll know here within the week. Is your back is that was possible at this point because well, it's a big step, and I think NFL teams are going to need to get to know it. Yeah, there, there's actually a um, uh, combine recheck here coming up at the end of next week. So um, you know, for him to go to that, I understand he'd have to pay all his expenses at that. But I, I just you know. 
it's, it's been a long time. They, they need to let him know what the situation is so he can just have some peace of mind all he's going to do. It's, it's going to work out either way. Right, right. right. Just wish uh, wish you could move a little quicker. I think we all do. Going back to the satellite camps, uh, do you feel one way or another about it? I know Har Coach Harbaugh has been the one that's going to be sparked this debate and they're calling it the Harbaugh effect. Yeah. Do you feel one way or another yeah, about it? You know, we've done them the last two years. Uh, Midwestern, you know, uh, just a chance to get out maybe and see more prospects. But me personally, I, I think uh, I prefer it the way it just got passed today. I think, uh, uh, in my opinion, I think camps should be done on your campus. And I also think the next step is to just uh, have them run by personnel from your university, people that actually work in your football department, period. So there are no third parties. Uh, we've seen that be a problem in other sports, and I think it's, it's becoming an issue in football. And I think some schools are I'm not going to say encouraging it, but they're, you know, uh, partaking in it. And I, I'm not sure that's healthy for our game. Either. I think we have to be really careful. How was it like seeing the Sean Welsh kind of thing? <laughs> He's doing well. You know, uh, probably saw him a couple of snaps. Or like, it's not natural yet. Uh, but in, in nine workouts, I think he's really done a good job. Uh, his head was spinning. First couple workouts is, is you know, you can, you can only do so much sitting in a chair. You have to go out and do it. And uh, then do it with people right in front of you. And that's, that's a little bit tougher. But he's a really good football player. He's making the adjustment. And I'm confident he'll, you know, he'll be uh, in really good shape here by August. Is this going to be permanent? It could be. Yeah, I mean, I think we have to make sure we have our bases covered. And, uh, you know, if it proves out that, uh, uh, you know, James can come back and you know, we'll, we'll gauge all that stuff in August, but uh, I think we'd all feel better going into to August, you know, knowing that we've got a guy who's had some good experience at that position. What do you see in the building there, though? 